Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and welcome to our weekly tutorials. And this week I have a fantastic tutorial for you. I'll be showing you how to play videos in your projects. Now in the simulator here, I have an example of what we are creating today. A simple round rec button and once we hit it, our video player is loaded and plays a video. So then, already on my project setup, it's a simple view based application for the iPhone and I've simply named it Play Video File for the purpose of this tutorial. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is have a video file ready to import into your project. Now on the desktop here, I have my video file. It's the simple MP4 format for iPhone, whereas most formats are not compatible and will not play on the iPhone this is the format which iPhone records so just to be on the safe side make sure your video file is mp4 and what you simply do is just drag it into your project make sure you click copy items to the destinations group folder and then hit finish so once you've done that the second thing we're going to need to do is import our framework so if you go to build phases and link binary of libraries click the little plus symbol and we need to find the media player framework so just simply type in media and it should appear here there we go so add that into your project and then now we've done that we can go straight to the coding so the first thing you want to do is go into our view controller.h and I'll zoom in for you now and just after the, under the import we need to import our framework so to do that we do hashtag import and we need the more and less than symbols so in between them two, we type in media player forward slash and again media player dot h and then once you've done that, just after the curly bracket here, we need to type in IB action for our round red button. So to do that we do dash bracket capital IB action and I simply name it play video really easy to understand and finish out with a semicolon we can save that and zoom out now and go to our view controller dot n and just after the implementation enter a few times so we got quite a bit of space and the code's easy to see when I do it now okay and so what we need to do is type in dash bracket ib action And we name the action button play video, so just simply type in that. Do space, curly bracket, and hit enter. So a couple of enters, we've got a little bit of room. And we start with the first line of coding, which is ns url space asterisk. And we name it url, just to go with the ns url. Space equals space bracket. Capital again, ns url space file url with path and in the ns string here in the highlighted section we do bracket bracket ns bundle main bundle and then close that little bit up there with a bracket space path for resource and in the first ns string here will be the name of our video so today we do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and in my case my video is called video one so we type in video one and in the second highlighted inner string here repeat it again do at symbol quotation mark quotation mark and this is now the format of the video which make sure it's mp4 so you know it will be compatible with the iPhone when you play it so let me type in mp4 let me just make sure there's no capital on the mp4, no, that's okay then. So then once that's done, after the quotation mark here we do two brackets to close up all the closing and we do semicolon and hit enter. Now we need to type in MP Movie Player View Controller so capital MP Movie Player View Controller make sure there's view there and after that we do space Asterisk, and I'll name it player controller space equals space bracket bracket and again MP movie player controller 
movie player controller. I'll make sure it's view controller, sorry. I always get confused with that one. View controller, make sure it's caps on the view. Then after that we do space lock and close that little bit up with a bracket. Space in it with content URL. And then we type in the name of our NS URL up here, which we named it URL. Really simple. And then we close all of that up there with a bracket and a semicolon. Now hit enter. Again, we do a bracket, type in self present movie player view controller animated. So we do present movie player for view controller animated. In the highlight section, we type in the name of our movie player view controller, which was player controller. And that way bracket in a semicolon. And hit enter twice. And again, type in player controller. Dot movie player. Dot movie source type. Space equals space mp movie source type file. So mp movie source type file then end that with a semicolon and again we can hit enter twice go bracket player controller again dot movie player space play and close it with a bracket and a semicolon and there again enter a few times do bracket player you can contro player controller sorry space release and that with a bracket semicolon and then the final line, player, controller, space, equals, space, nil. And that with a semicolon. And if you want to pause the video there and catch up on any of the coding, it might seem a little bit confusing, but it's very simple. But now I'll zoom out. If we go to our view controller, .xib, where we can add in our round rec button. So let's bring up all the actions up here. Drag in a nice round like button. And I'll name it play video. There we go. And then click on the files owner. And then link up the action to our round red button. Do something simple like touch down, very easy, or you can do touch up inside to give the user time if they want to cancel it by dragging their finger. It's entirely up to you how you want to do the action for the button. We can save that, now if we go straight to build and run, as you can see there are no errors or no problems there, the code is pretty straightforward as in all my tutorials. So once the application is loaded we have our button here, we can hit play, let's pause it there, a nice little interface for our video there, we've got the play features at the bottom, we have the time scale of how long the video is and our done button so we can carry on playing it hey guys this is Aaron from Geeky Lemon Development and there we go a bit of classic Geeky Lemon there for you and now what we can do we can get the button up here which will make it bigger or smaller now if we go into hardware and rotate right the movie player rotates as well and you got it full screen so play it and welcome to our weekly tutorial and this week I'll be there we go so we can hit done once you finish watching the video and it takes you back to the application or if you go back into it and go right to the very end drag the time scale right to the end and play you'll notice when the video stops playing it'll take you back automatically to the application so already have my project set up and there we go so that's simply how you play videos in your apps or projects. So I hope this tutorial helps a lot of you out there. And if you haven't, make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you all next week in our next tutorial. Make sure you favourite and like the video so you have it for future reference. Also check out the full source code for this tutorial and all our others on our website at geekylemon.com. Send us a message or leave us a comment if you want to suggest any tutorials yourself or if you just want to leave us some feedback and follow and like us on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below, as well as a full list of all our apps which are currently on the App Store. Make sure you go check them out, and most importantly, if you haven't, 
make sure you subscribe.